What's up guys, I'm here at Heathrow Airport Terminal 2 in London and today I'm heading to Istanbul with Turkish Airlines in business class on board their Airbus A330-300. It's quite a cold windy day here at Heathrow so let's go and head inside and check out the Star Alliance lounges here at Terminal 2. So I headed into the terminal and straight to the fast track security point here in Terminal 2. Terminal 2 is a lovely terminal to fly through here at Heathrow. It's really bright and airy, just like Terminal 5 to cross the airport. Most wide body flights from Terminal 2 go from the B gates, which means going down this escalator and through an underground walkway to get to the remote pier. Turkish Airlines don't have a lounge here at Heathrow Airport, but you do get the chance to use any of the other Star Alliance lounges here in Terminal 2. Hello there. I'm very well, thank you sir. On recommendation, I decided to try out the Singapore Airlines Silver Chris Lounge here at the B-Gates. Thank you very much. Okay, will do, thank you. This lounge is pretty comfortable, it has loads of little private seating areas where you can sit down and get some peace and quiet, and at this time of the day there weren't any Singapore Airlines flights going, so the lounge was relatively quiet. I would imagine though that in the evenings when the Singapore Airlines flights start going out, that the lounge could get really crowded. It's not the biggest lounge at Heathrow, and with all those A380s full of premium seats that Singapore Airlines send in, I imagine it gets pretty busy. The food here on offer in the Singapore Airlines lounge is really something else. I chose a really nice chicken curry, but they've got loads of other Singapore options there with noodles, rice, curries, all sorts of things that you'd find on Singapore Airlines. It was a really nice meal. Relaxation over, my flight was called for boarding and it was time to head back to the hustle and bustle of Terminal 2 to get my flight to Istanbul. Fortunately the gate that we went from today was right outside the Singapore Airlines lounge so it wasn't too far to walk to get on the aircraft. And here is our ride over to Istanbul today. It's a five year old Airbus A330-300, originally delivered to Afrikia Airways of Libya in 2014 and it's been leased to Turkish Airlines ever since. The business class cabin on the A330 300s is pretty nice and spacious. It's arranged in a 222 configuration with life flat beds in each seat. The flight even has an onboard chef and before we took off he brought round some pre-departure drinks. I opted for a lemon and mint drink. Once he'd brought all the drinks round, the chef also brought round some savoury snacks for us to nibble on before departure. Menus were brought round so that we could choose our meal for later on in the flight. And then the crew came round handing out some newspapers for those who wanted them.
Soon it was time to push back and get on our way towards Istanbul. Turkish Airlines produced some pretty cool safety videos and their latest is no exception. It's done in conjunction with the Lego movie and it's done entirely by Lego characters. It's actually really funny. Departure this evening would be from runway 27 right and it was a little bit busy here at Heathrow tonight so we had a little bit of a hold on the way out to the runway. We were treated to a truly incredible sunset above the clouds. Our route today then took us east out of the UK over Belgium, Germany, Austria and down over the Balkan states of Croatia, Serbia and Bulgaria before making our approach and landing into Istanbul, Turkey. Flight time today was 4 hours 22 minutes at an altitude of 39,000 feet. The business class seat on the A330-300 is really, really comfortable. You can put it into pretty much any position you want. And I even discovered it has a massage function, which was absolutely amazing. The in-flight entertainment system on the A330 in business class pops up from the side of the seat. It's a pretty good system and in my experience it's well on a par with Emirates, Qatar Airways and the likes of those airlines. The moving map display is pretty good and shows you the route that you're taking, although there was a little bit of a bug on the A330 in that it didn't actually show the aircraft on the map. There are external cameras that you can view on the Airbus A330 but being night there wasn't really a lot to see on those. There are a ton of movies, TV shows and all sorts of other things that you can do on the in-flight entertainment system, plenty enough to keep you occupied at least for this four and a half hour flight today. Dinner was served as we flew over Germany. Today's menu was Turkish meze and tabula and hummus for starter, and the main course was then a choice of an Islim lamb kebab, grilled swordfish brochette or gnocchi with parmesan and tomato sauce. I went for the Islim lamb kebab, it was absolutely delicious, very sumptuous meat and tasted fantastic. There was also a choice of Turkish or French red or white wine, as well as loads of other alcoholic drinks to go with your dinner. After dinner I put my seat into the light flat position and managed to get a couple of hours sleep ahead of our landing in Istanbul. When I woke up we were already over Turkey and beginning our descent down into Istanbul.
so we had landed at Istanbul's Atatürk International Airport. After we pulled up to the gate, all the lights went out on the aircraft after the engines were shut down, and the captain came on to explain that it was because they hadn't attached the jet bridge properly. Thank you, bye-bye. Ataturk Airport was chaotic as ever. I made my way through the heavy crowds at this time of night to try and make my way to the Turkish Airlines lounge ahead of my next flight. I will be doing a full review of the Turkish Airlines lounge at Ataturk Airport in my next video. Make sure to check it out. I was very impressed with Turkish Airlines business class on this flight. The seat wasn't the best compared to other airlines like Emirates and Qatar where you get a one to one seat and a proper direct aisle access seat, but it wasn't too bad on the A330 and it was still a life flat bed. The meals were incredible in business class and the service from the flight crew was astounding. Ataturk Airport was a disappointment as it is usually, however the lounge was brilliant and I will be covering that in my next video as I mentioned earlier. Istanbul are supposed to be opening their new Istanbul Airport very soon. It was supposed to be open when I flew through on this flight, however it's been delayed and at the moment I don't know when it's supposed to be opening. I don't think there's any sign of it opening in the next few months at least. Thanks for watching this video, really do appreciate it. Take care, I'll see you next time here on In Flight Video.